there and welcome back to my channel. How are my busy friends doing today? So I had a different video in mind planned. I was gonna go to the gym and film some workouts for you guys, but unfortunately, Kevin is my videographer. He got out of work late and we didn't have a chance. So here I am. I wanna talk about the truth behind the no consideration so what everyone wants to know is the simple truth to fat loss like is there this trick that everyone in the fitness industry is keeping to themselves They're so rude um so i'm here to tell you this i'm here to tell you the trick to fat loss drum roll that's not really a drum uh the trick to fat loss is there is no trick. I'm sorry guys. There is there's really no trick. I wish that I can tell you there was a magic pill um, or you know a food that you eat and you magically drop 10 pounds. Fortunately, that's not the case. Um, I've got my little notes here because if not I go rambling. Um, there really is no trick. You just got to change everything. You're the way you eat, your exercise, um, and you just gotta keep yourself sustainable. Basically, in order to, to have fat loss, you gotta audit your day. So you gotta change the way you eat, and you gotta exercise. That's basically what it is. It takes sacrifice and lots of hard work. Um, there's really no secret ingredient. There's not a special thing that you can do. It just boils down to exercise and um, your eating. And the thing is, like I tell my clients, is that it's not just, you know, train super hard for an event or a competition and then go back to your ways. It's a lifestyle, guys. It's a lifestyle, not a diet. So, Remember that it's a lifestyle, not a diet. You just gotta change everything from your day to day. Um, that's why I don't really like to give my clients a strict meal plan. There's some that do, they prefer because they don't want to like think about their food. Um, they just have so much going on, they don't want that. And I understand, and it's all about for you to have success. Even then, I like for them to know what it is that they're eating. What is a carb? What is a protein? What is a fat? How much does each, what is, you know, how much does each have um, as, in terms of grams? What is the best protein for you to eat? Because, you know, not all proteins are the same, just like not all fats are the same. So these are the type of things that I'd like to teach my clients and uh, you guys should know as well. It's important because it's, it, like I said, it's a lifestyle. So this is for the long run. You know, when you go to a restaurant, you want to make better choices. You know, maybe back in the day, you would have picked something fried. And now you realize, wait, I can't have that fried thing, you know, or maybe have a healthy meal. And, you know, you could splurge on your dessert. It's making little choices like that, that really, really, really helps in the long run. And also working out. Now, I wouldn't go from zero working out to like working out all seven days. That's just not sustainable. That's not, that's not good. Like you can't go from zero to 100 and think that you're gonna keep on with it because you're gonna burn out and you're gonna get tired of it and you're just gonna be like, I hate the gym. I give up, that's it. It's so intense. You know, go from maybe one, two days, or once a week, twice a week, uh, walk 20 minutes, um, take a Zumba class. Start with something that you enjoy. If you if you have a love-hate relationship with the gym, or you just really hate it, or you've never really tried it, I suggest so that you do not have um, this bad experience and, and just never want to go to like to the gym again, do something you love. If you like working out outside, do that. Take a walk in the park. Take your dogs. Go out with your kids. If you like dancing, take a Zumba class. If you like kickboxing, take a class. If you 
you know, start with what you like. If you like just walking on the treadmill, then just walk on the treadmill, that's fine. If you like lifting weights, do weights. My favorite. Um, so start with what you like. Don't just follow whatever, you know, influencer you see on Instagram is doing because that might not be what you like and then you're setting yourself up for failure because in the long run you're just dreading it and you know you might start off all pumped and a month is done and you're kind of dreading doing that all over again so i always say start off nice and smooth um later on you know start increasing it start adding weights into the program if you're just doing cardio but the main main point in order to lose weight um, for fat loss is to get your 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 body moving, burning fat, get the heart rate up. That's what you want to do. And whatever it is, you know, it doesn't. I'm sorry, girls. I wish it did, but it doesn't mean shopping. Shopping is not a cardio. It's not cardio. I wish it was. You could do it. Plus, you're on top of your cardio. <laughs> but, um, you know, you could go walking in the mall before it opens. Like, I've seen a lot um, down here in Miami. They have that, um, the elderly go in the morning and, you know, because it's really hot outside. And I think that's a great idea. That's amazing. So you could do that. Hey, And then, you know, right after when the mall opens, just be like, okay, I remember this from that store and that from that store. Um, so, yeah. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. I wish that I can tell you that I, there was something else, but the secret to fat loss, guys, hard work, sacrifice, diet and exercise. And I know that everyone's like, oh my gosh, I don't have time to work out. I don't have time to eat healthy. Listen, if you really want to do it, you'll find time. I've had clients that get out of work at midnight and still manage to work out because it's something that they really want. Like I said, it's going to take sacrifice. If it means, you know, not going to see that baseball game, you got to sacrifice. Um, it doesn't mean, you know, your whole life has to be about working out, but if you're always finding excuses to not go, then, you know, you might want to miss that baseball game. You might want to miss that huge sale um so yeah there you have it the secret to fat loss well guys i hope you like this uh video if you like these type of videos give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will catch you in the next one